Welcome to this DCS Mission Editor Tips video. Using static objects at bases to make your missions feel more alive is all well and good, but what if there was a better way? Today I will show you how to use uncontrolled AI to take your missions to the next level. We will be attacking an airfield, so it would be cool if some of the aircraft at the base attempted to scramble as we approached. This would be a simple runway strike mission in the F-5 Tiger. The base we will be attacking has minimal air defences, but many aircraft. Some of these will be on alert and scramble as we pass into a trigger zone. So why use uncontrolled AI and not static objects? With uncontrolled AI, you can have the aircraft parked with stores loaded. I think this looks better than the statics, which are always empty of stores. Once you have decided which base you want the QRF to be located at, we need to get our first unit placed. I'll be using the MiG-21 for this demonstration. Once your group is placed, it's essential to set the aircraft to start from ramp so that you can access the uncontrolled AI option. Tick the uncontrolled box. Now we need to make sure a few basic things are set up, such as livery, tasking, stores, and the skill level of the AI. Let's also set some advanced waypoint actions. I want AA missile attack ranges to be launched by a threat estimate. I also want to add chaff flare using and set it to use against fired missile. Let's give them a waypoint near the base as they should find the enemy planes quickly. Set the altitude to something reasonable. It will not make much difference in this case. Same with speed. Next, we need to go to triggered actions. Let's set up a triggered action so that we can tell the AI to go about its business. We're going to go add, perform command, start. Naming your flights when using triggers is also useful because it helps identify them in the drop down lists. You can make as many groups of uncontrolled AI as you like. There can be up to four aircraft in each group and you can copy and paste these groups once they're set up to quickly fill the base. Now it's time to set up our triggers for the mission. We want to make a trigger zone using this button and place it somewhere on the route into the base. Once placed, name it whatever you would like. Now we need to link the triggers together. So click the rules for triggers button here. Now we need to do the following. New, once, in the conditions section. New, part of coalition in zone. Set it to blue. Set the zone that you want to trigger. In this case, alert. And the unit type if you want to. Next in the action section, AI task push, group, and select from the drop down. That's it. You now have QRF sitting on the airfield waiting for blue forces to be spotted. Once the trigger is activated, they will start up, taxi, take off and engage. Once you get the hang of this setup, you can use it for all sorts of creative scenarios. What creative ways will you be using this method of triggering AI for? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video useful, then I would appreciate a like. If you want more DCS mission editor tips, then check out this playlist. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you in the skies.